This video is sponsored by Clean My Mac X. When it comes to macOS Pixel 11.3, it's been about two weeks since we last saw an update and finally today we have a new update and it's macOS Pixel 11.3 developer beta 2. That's the update that I'm going to be updating to and going to be reviewing in this video. Now for me on my 2016 15 inch MBP that you see here, this update actually came in as a slightly bigger file than what I was used to. So it came in at around 3.44 gigs. Typically updates like this tend to be around two and a half or so gigs, but this one is a bit on the high end considering that there isn't actually a lot of changes that came with this update. And then if we go into the system to see the software changes, you can see the new build number that we have here, 20E5186D. This build number has a D at the end and it's actually a step in the positive direction compared to what we had before we had an I. So this update is five steps in the positive direction, which is a good thing when it comes to stability wise. Now, if we want to see how much this update is taking in terms of storage, we want to see whether it's taking abnormal amount of storage. So if you go to the storage section, it just takes a moment to load. And as you can see here, it's taken up 16.57 gigs. This is a slight increase compared to what I had before on 11.3 beta 1. On beta 1, it was actually taken up 16.51 gig. So it's increased by some megabytes. Now, unfortunately, at the time I'm recording this video right now, Wednesday the 17th, and it's about 5.45 p.m., this update isn't yet available to public beta testers. So if you're a public beta tester, perhaps at the time I publish this video, it could be out. If not, in the following two weeks, look forward to the public beta update. Now, let's go into the segment that most people enjoy, which is the new features and changes that came with this macOS Pixel 11.3 Beta 2. The first thing that you see after updating is the new splash screen that has been simplified. Now, before on previous versions of macOS, we used to have two options when you come up to this splash screen after you update to a new OS. But now, as you can see here, it's been simplified and you only have one option to share your crash and data analytics to Apple developers so that they can sort of better improve these operating systems. Before, this is how it used to look like. As you can see, we had two options, but now this is how it basically looks like. It's been simplified, and if you want to share your crash information and analytics data with Apple developers, then this is where you select that. Now, the next feature or the next change that has been updated with Marquez Pixel 11.3 has to do with the music app. Now, the music app has been updated on the Apple Watch, it's been updated on the iPhone, and also on the Mac, it's now been updated. So finally, macOS Pixel 11.3 adds autoplay to the music app on macOS. And what this means is that the music will typically keep on playing when an album or a playlist that you've selected ends. The music app now allows you to cue what you like or add a song or an album to the play next selection. Now, if you don't do this and select what will cue up or play next the music app will typically select an artist that is similar to that we just completed or an album or playlist that is sort of similar to that which you are listening to once it comes to an end or a complete so it continues to play music irregardless so that is a good thing it's been updated on watchOS and also on iOS 14.5 now this is not something that I'll be able to show you as I use Spotify for most of my music but it's worth mentioning and it's a new feature that you can always check out Another thing that has been updated has to do with the interface that you see when you go to the support section of the Mac. So if we go to the top corner there and go to the about this Mac section and go to where it says support, you can see that this support UI has been updated and it now basically shows you coverage. And if you still have coverage, it will tell you when your coverage is going to expire 
and if you have your coverage expired just like I do as you can see here it will tell you coverage expired and it's good that you can actually see the paid repairs and service but for some reason if I go to the details here you can see that I maybe it just goes to show you the repairs of the service that were concluded at Apple or that were previously done on this Mac at Apple but as I click here you can see that the details won't show anything it could be a bug or something that needs to be added in the OS but as you can see nothing changes here and then also if you want to get support from Apple with regards to your Mac you can see that you can chat and get phone support and all you have to do is just to click here where it says get support but as you can see get support isn't working so both the details and get support isn't working so it's kind of a bug i guess at this time but hey it's a new feature that came with this mac os pixel 11.3 on this update and it's worth mentioning now we mentioned that the music app has been updated and also the podcast app received minor updates if you actually save podcast within the apple podcast app it shows now more seamless and sometimes before there were issues whereby people were saving their podcast and it wouldn't show up or sometimes it wouldn't play and they would have to redo the whole process again but now the podcast app received stability improvements with this update which is a good thing and a plus if you like texting on the Mac, I'll be happy to let you know that with this update, just like what we have on iOS 14.5 and watchOS 7.4, we actually now have a ton of new Memojis. There's typically around 217 new Memojis that have been updated with macOS Pixel 11.3. As you can see here, these are some of the new Memojis. You have this new vaccine. Before the vaccine that was there actually showed some blood droppings, which was a little bit on the creepy side. But as you can see, we have this new sleek and simple looking one. And also the headphones have been updated from the old trashy looking headphones to the AirPods Max since Apple has the AirPods Max as a product that's available and we have a heart that is on fire and what Apple is trying to do in this aspect by updating all these Memojis has to do with support for Unicode 13.1. Now these are updates that you're going to see like on watchOS, on macOS, iOS and also on other platforms like Android. By doing this we are able to avoid an issue whereby you send an emoji or a emoji to someone who's using like an Android device and all they get is like some X's or unsupported format. So this Unicode 13.1 is being supported by a large number of developers and so after this update goes public it's something that even other developers and other platforms will have on board on their software updates. I didn't mention this on beta 1 when it came out but now with macOS Pixel 11.3 you actually have stereo HomePod connections so if you have two HomePod devices and they are within proximity and you bring them close to your Mac you can actually connect to them as a single speaker and have that stereo sound feel and you actually be able to see it on your Bluetooth section there. This is not something that I'll be able to show you since I don't have the HomePod devices but hey it's something that's changed and it's worth trying if you have those devices. It's, it's sort of improving in the Apple ecosystem just goes to show how seamless these devices integrate among each other. Now let's talk about performance. This is a beta of course, a beta isn't always going to have the top notch performance but I would like to say that most of the applications that I use I try to open most of them one by one just to see if they open up and yeah most of them are opening as they're supposed to and somewhat functional. So. I'm happy for that and I did do Geekbench 5 scores just to see how this update is performing compared to the previous beta which was 11.3 beta 1. So when it comes to CPU scores for single core on macOS Pixel 11.3 beta 2 on single core CPU I got a score of 749 and on multi core I got a score of 3087. So that's what I have with this update on beta 2 and previously on beta 1 for single core I had 645 and for multi core I had 3050. So as you can see here both single core and multi core are 
slightly higher compared to what we had on beta one two weeks ago which is a step in the positive direction it's not by much but hey it's something that is positive with regards to gpu i also did the same thing i ran geekbench 5 scores just to see how this beta 2 is performing and on gpu on beta 2 i actually got a score of 17,317. and comparing this to 11.3 beta 1 i had a score of 17,349. so as you can see GPU is more or less the same. It's not something that you're going to notice, but for me on my 2016 15 inch MacBook Pro, it's more or less the same. Now, when it comes to battery performance, since I didn't do a follow-up video for 11.3 beta one, let me just show you how my battery was sort of when I updated for the last two weeks. So if we go to the system preferences right there and go to the battery section, you can actually see if we go to the battery section that we actually have an important message here oh my goodness it says the battery capacity is significantly reduced to restore capacity please check your service options so if i go to service options it just takes a moment to open up a page as you can see this action tab is actually working unlike before so i have an option to get a call from apple support or to chat with them or to bring up or to bring it in for repairs now since my mark doesn't have coverage if we go to the about this mark section and then click the about here and also go to overview and go to system report and go to where it says power right there you'll be able to see my cycle count so you can see that my cycle count is 329 so typically for a mark i believe it's 1000 cycle counts and then your mark needs to be replaced so it came way in advance it could be a bug but hey it could also mean that my battery condition has degraded as you can see here the condition also says service recommended so it's kind of unfortunate i think the person that used this mark before me always connected it on power and left it there that's why the cycle counts are so low and for a 2016 macbook pro i mean it's it's about time you know you think of replacing the battery because it's been almost like five years right so let's look at the screen on time that i've been getting if you go to the usage history right here and go to the last 10 days you can see that i actually wasn't so active last week i had some things going on on sunday i got about two hours and i was basically using 50 percent and on this day which you can see on a monday here i had about eight hours and i was using about 90 percent of charge so as you can see it's up and down i didn't really do a follow-up video to that previous update so with this one i'll make sure i intensely test out the battery performance just to see how it's performing and give you a true picture this is just a representation a rough representation of what i was getting on 11.3 beta 1 on beta 2 i'll try to do a follow-up video in about two to three days after using this operating system now when it comes to some of the bugs that i'm seeing here for me if i open imovie right here and try to export a project let's give it some time as it opens up so this has been here for some time and i thought this is something that they were going to address quickly so you can see the text here overlaps resolution 4k you can't even see See the last portion of resolution and also you can see format in the colon here and the video is overlapped doesn't look so clean and sometimes when you write words they overlap but this it's a hit and miss but this is the bug that i managed to notice in the short time that i've been using this update if i find some more bugs and issues i'll be able to do a follow-up video and show you what's up with this update now other than that that's about it for me if you like this video please leave a like and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe down below and check out the sponsor for this video clean my mac x if you want to deal with junk files and also deal with malware and make sure you get good performance out of your mac other than that stay safe and i'll see you in the next video very soon peace